Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air here. And uh, so the video you're about to see is real. We had a uh, loss of power on takeoff, a real emergency uh, when I was taking Jeremy up for one of his training flights. And so uh, we're gonna show you what happened uh, uh, to the aircraft and uh, how we handled it. But uh, we basically lost, uh, lost engine power at about 150 feet, more than halfway down the runway. So uh, let's take a look and see what happened. Switch over to flight. Okay. Model of 2000. Just a little bit. Just up to 2000, a tiny okay. bit. Here. Now take our time. There's nobody behind us or anything, so yeah. Yeah, there's good. Okay. Push the pre rotor. Yep. And as the engine strong. bogs down, you will add just a little bit of power, just a little bit. Right, right about there. Number 6 and 4 fortune tower pattern for full stop. Rotor speed's 100, Number 20, 140, 160, 180, 200 RPM, maybe a little extra for good measure. Four steps for takeoff, jump off the boat. Release the rotor, stick back, release the brake, add power. There you go, there we go. Rotor speed is climbing, looking good. You're on the center line, Your nose is about to come up. There it comes, down, 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 left stick. Might as well go full. All right, so let's stay close to the ground till we get to 60. There we go. Now you can climb out. Add your trim up to six. Okay, climb out at 60. Stick back a bit. Oh, yeah, back. Oh, I got it. Yeah. All right, put the nose down. Here we come back onto the runway. Your aircraft. Oh, my aircraft, yeah, thank you. All right. Enjoy, keep up with golf, are you boarding? We are boarding, had a little issue of some kind here, we're not sure what, but we're gonna taxi off. Roger, 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 right from the end, contact ground, plane six. Contact ground, keep up with Pretty fun, huh? That was good. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. right, for the land. All right, so immediately after that happened, we uh, taxied back to the hangar and um, we took the engine cowling off. We were checking. We didn't see anything uh, that uh, looked like it was wrong. All the wires and cables all looked proper. Um, but uh, what happens on the Rotex engines, especially the IS series engines, is they record a log of everything that happens on the engine. So we took those logs and we sent them off to our Rotex expert who analyzed the, the engine logs and, and told us what happened. Okay guys, so we uh, analyzed, uh, or we had our, our Rotex guy analyze the logs, and what uh, the logs came back and said was there was a loose connection on one of the cylinder connectors on the FADEC. So uh, what happened was it basically shut that cylinder down. So we only had a three cylinder engine there. You can tell by the roughness of the engine and all. Uh, so uh, we just uh, came back down and landed. Um, so we checked it out. We uh, uh, retightened all the connections. The engine's got almost 1,200 hours on it, which it's just about time for its overhaul anyway. But uh, one loose connection on the FADEC uh, caused the engine uh, cylinder to shut down. Uh, so we have tightened it back up, um, and we're gonna go do a test flight and see if that's what corrected the problem. Okay, so I'll do this first one, that's all right. Okay. Turn all right, going into flight mode. I got the brakes. All right, 2,000 RPM, start the pre-route. One fifty RPM on the rotor. Two hundred, we're gonna go to the left side. Left on the road, zero to the center. Left on the road, zero to the center. Here we go. There we go. Here 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 we go.
Number two, two six left, clear from option, six zero four. There's six. Five out at sixty. Sixty. Oil pressure is good. Instruments are good. Crossing midfield. Crossing a thousand feet. Twelve hundred. Not at the end of the runway yet, but we're looking good now. Fourteen hundred. Have a cross one. So far, so good, huh? Yep, looking good. Uh, little bird right here on your left. Oh, where's that guy? All right, you want to take the controls? My controls. controls. You have the controls. There's six to four. Change runway two six right. It's two six right. Six to four. There's six to four. Contact tower north one one eight point five. Six four. Good day, sir. Tower, this is a 5 2 Lima, so, um, a short approach. 5 2 Lima, extend up with. Extend up with All right, looks like it's all working. Yeah. So he switched over to right track. The suspect you were following is now for the north runway. You are number one, runway 26 left of the option. 2 3 2 Papa Golf, where we uh, number one? For two six left, clear for the option. Cool. So it's a five two zero kilo Sierra for the That was kind of your bedroom voice, wasn't it? We're I am more chill now. I <laughs> know. After that pucker factor that I had when I, in the last one, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a little more chill. Hello, tower. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, you know. Tower, tower. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> All right. uh, is this far enough back? This looks good to me. About okay. a 45 degree angle to the numbers is the okay. trigger base. There you go. Trying to land me around the 2-6. Around the 2-6? Yeah. Somewhere close. From my 2-6 left of the approved. Runway 2 right, this is like the video show. Nice. Approach approved. Yeah, we must Thank you. Oh, you're high. I'd pull the power now. Get on down there. Otherwise, you're going to come in fast. Okay. Remember, yeah. we have a tail. I, I do. Yeah. But you can see that windsock over there? It's kind of flat, so it didn't like oh. much of anything, really. Tell me when I'm a foot off the ground. You're supposed to tell me when you're a foot off the ground. Right oh, I here. need to know my picture. My side picture. Back on the stick now. Back. Yep, there you go. Just do that every time, Jeremy. You're fine. <laughs> all right, off you. Full power. Full power, all the way. Okay. Nose down. Left stick. I'm out at 60. To the Jeep of Golf, you're following a Cessna approaching your left side in the down one. We got a bit tight, Jeep of Golf. Or Jeep of Golf number two, runway 26 oh. left. Yeah, sorry. This is the option number two on 26 left, Jeep of Golf. You want to climb as high as you can, as fast as you can, especially when you're testing an engine out. Yeah. Because you don't want to be low and then have something go wrong, and then you have to fix it, and you don't have as much time. Yeah, you can turn your crosswind if you like. 1400.
So should I line my uh, down with the Kimball, or I mean, is that ideal, or what? This road right here? Oh uh, no! See the guy out here? Yeah, uh, he's, no. he's oh, way wide. Yeah. Okay. But so I'd kind of maybe split the a little bit of difference. Okay. You don't want to get too far away from the runway. Yeah. Let's say we lost our engine here. Would we make it back? Yeah, we would, but we have to stretch it. Hook on over there. Yeah. Yeah. See him on the cross or the yeah cross or base. Yeah. Hey, don't let your altitude get low on the downwind. 1400. Sorry. You lost your engine now. I don't know. We wouldn't make the runway. Wind 110 at 3. 110 at 3. So it's not quite perfectly east, it's a little bit from this direction. Okay. From southeast. Okay, you're. Tight in base, so cut that power. Still at 1400, and we're about to turn final short, so. Remember, put your nose down, keep your 60 going. There we go, we get better. Be patient. Now back on the stick slowly. But more. More. Trust more. Zero Lima Tower. Short approach again is approved if you'd like. Wind 1103, one runway 26 left. Cleared for the option. Hey, back on the four mile final for the parallel runway site page. Taking trim off for you so you know. Two six light drift with off you go. Full power. power. Approve and we'll keep a crap here. Zero Lima Tower. Nose down. Left stick, right pedal. There you go. Climb out at 60. Start coming back. Back on the stick. Add your trip. So I'm going to keep that right at 60. Okay. Because you want to climb as quick as you can. Uh, watch your altitude. Yeah. Oh. The only issue with that here at Chino is because ground elevation is 650, right? Yeah. So, in theory, in theory we should be flying pattern at 1650. So we're actually flying pattern at 800 feet. So all of a sudden you start cutting at 100 or 200 feet off. Now we're flying pattern at you know five, 600 feet. Okay. And you just don't have any time. Yeah. It's weird because there's a disparity between these two gauges right now. Yeah, one is... Uh, knots and one is miles per hour. Are you talking about the uh, altitude? Altimeter, yeah. yeah. 14, 20, and yeah, I'll have to check them. Okay, he just he just crossed my 90, so I'll make my right base. If you have two altitudes that differ, which one should you uh, follow? Uh, the one that's lower. A lower one, that's right. How low can you go? Low. <laughs> Okay, we'll do a lot of targeted landing at the intersection of the two runways. Okay. Well, depending on this character, what he's going to do. Oh, what's up? Okay, folks, drum roll, please. Jeremy's landing. Every I'm time. Close my eyes right now. I'm closing them. Every time. I'm going to watch. Oh, my God. 2,000 people watching you, Jeremy. Go ahead. Go right ahead. 
Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> You're freaking me Your out. Your airspeed man. up, nose down. Don't like it. Uh, yep, here we go. Now. Now, if you need to add power, whoa, add power. Oh, you got it. Uh, you're about to bounce it in there. Yeah. Let me grab it on my 2-6 right, put it in, wind comma, timber 3 0 Every time you say that, I mean, <laughs> screw something up. Ah, <laughs> right. Delta Ground Point 6. Right at Delta, see ya. All right, stick forward. Rotor brake on brake. <laughs> Open up. Feel us dropping out though? Yeah. That's because we came in pretty slow. Remember I said don't be high and slow? Yeah. All of a sudden it'll just go shaboof, you know. But if you add power quickly, you can save it. With power, I need to put more right rudder in too. Well, yeah, at that point when you're just dropping to the ground about, don't worry about the right rudder stuff, just go power. Okay. Just to slow you down from slamming. All right, guys, so we uh, did that flight test. It all went uh, perfectly. Um, but um, what I want to emphasize on this is um, if you fly aircraft long enough, um, uh, something, even if it's just minor, is probably going to happen. And to be prepared for it is the most important thing. I'm actually lucky because I practice those emergency procedures pretty much every day with my students. And so when you actually have to do one, it's kind of automatic. But I want you guys to be able to do that, too, as well. Always be thinking about emergency stuff and what you would do in whatever situation arises. Um, and that'll just kind of help you out. The, the cool thing about the gyroplanes, again, is think about this. We were at 150 feet off the runway when we lost that engine power. Now, if you're in a helicopter at 150 feet and the helicopter loses engine power, it has to get into auto rotation. It's not automatically in auto rotation. And so they have about one to two seconds to make a quick maneuver from that altitude, even if they can do it from that uh, before they would get into a lot of trouble. The gyroplane is automatically in auto rotation instantly, so all we basically did was float it back down and land back on the runway. I really think these are incredibly safe aircraft, um, and um, in, in a pinch, uh, you can get away with a whole lot of stuff. They're very, very safe. Uh, anyway, so happy ending to all that, so until next time, we will see you.